In this video, I'm going to introduce you to pixabay.com, which is one of my favorite websites for locating uh, images and that I can then use. And you can see from the title, it says stunning free images and royalty free stock. So the images are royalty free. That means you don't have to pay to use them. You can use them legally. You're not breaking copyright and they can be used commercially. They can be used in education. They are high quality, uh, mainly photographs, um, very easy to find and very easy to use. So all you need to do is type in a search term. I'm just going to type in the word cycling and I hit the enter key. It will then bring up the images. Now the top row will be uh, sponsored images. So if you go to those, these are ones that you do pay for. But if I just scroll down slightly, oh, I've just caught the screen. If I just scroll down slightly, you then get various images. Let's imagine I want this image of a silhouetted person. I just click on it and it will then bring up the information uh, in large. I want to download the image, so I go to free download. I can then choose what size image I want. If I'm going to be putting it on something that's going to be accessed in a mobile environment, I might as well go for the small version. Um, but I can often go for a bigger one. It's still quite a small file. You'll see the file sizes on the, on the right hand side. And then I choose download. Now, you can register and create an account and then it means that you don't have to go through this step. But you don't have to. If you don't want to, you just tick a box to say that you're not a robot. You then go to download. And what will happen is it will download the file into your, in my case, it goes to my downloads folder. It might be different on your machine, but you then have that image in which you can then do whatever it is that you need to do. You can upload it to something, uh, you can edit it, you can use it in PowerPoint, Word, you can use it on the web. Uh, very, very powerful. You don't actually have to reference where the images come from, but it's usually polite to do so. Um, it gives you the reference here, so you can copy that and then you can paste that into wherever it is being shared. Uh, and sometimes I'll just share the web address if I'm using it on my blog, for example, uh, so that other people can find the image quite easily as well.